it's about. Rick, Jennifer, we've been here since this morning, and these firefighters have not left this home. They've been trying to completely extinguish this fire and get the flames under control in the house, cool enough for investigators to enter. Now, we do know a three-year-old was rescued, but we're told there could be multiple people inside who may be dead. It still kind of doesn't seem real. Tara McCarter says she's still in shock after finding out the home across the street from her business on 5th Street in Carrollton caught fire on Thursday morning. Multiple people may be dead. McCarter says she knows the family. It's the kind of people you want to live next door to. You don't, you just don't have problems with them. You know, they're just non-confrontational, just overall very sweet people. Detective Dave Roberts with the Carrollton Police Department says they were called to the scene around 6 in the morning. The home was completely engulfed in flames, but crews were able to rescue a three-year-old child from the home. When officers arrived at the rear door, the three-year-old was near the rear door of the residence, collapsed on the floor. The officer was able to get in just enough to, in order to get the three-year-old. But Roberts says multiple family members may be dead. Crews have been at the scene for hours, putting out the fire and trying to get the home cool enough for investigators to enter and find out who may be inside. Quentin Featherstone, who manages a property nearby, says he's devastated to know a family's life may forever be changed. It's heartfelt. It hurts. That's for sure. Like I said, I didn't know them directly. I'm not directly to this community, but, you know, work a lot of individuals that are. But just being that father, you know, knowing that a child went through that, um, it's very sad. And McCarter says the ashes, which remain of the home, will leave the community shaken. It's definitely going to affect a lot of people around here. They have something bad that happened to a good family that didn't, didn't deserve it. Now, we're still waiting to find out the cause of that fire. We will continue to update you as more information becomes available. Reporting live, I'm Jamie Mays, WLKY News.